this is really annoying. I press run, of course, or running. I'm measuring a signal here. I press stop. It stops, right? It still shows the uh, historical waveform, but then you can, if you change the horizontal, um, it, it, okay, all good. Single shot capture. Uh, where's my single shot capture? I just want to press the single button and get a single shot capture. It's not, it's running. Huh? If I get my uh, Roden Schwartz RTB uh, 2000 over here, run stop mode, okay, I'm running. There's my waveform. I press my single, uh, single button and I get, it stops. Exactly what I expect. Oh, I just realized it's like turning on history mode up here. So when I press single, boom, and then it starts it counting down like it's jumping into auto history mode or something. There's got to be a setting for that. Because that's like really annoying. You don't want that. When you press the single button, you want it to make a single capture. I can understand like the history being available, which is absolutely fantastic. I love the auto history function on this. It's absolutely brilliant. Every scope should have it. Um, but not automatically when you press the single button. Huh. Yeah, you can see that operation here, right? I turn show history off, okay? And I press single button, boom, it turns it back on automatically. Uh, uh, I'm still not seeing like mode absolute, no, that's not an absolute relative thing. I'm not, I'm not seeing a setting for it. Uh, uh. All right, I think I figured it out. N single average count. There it is, 131,000. So when you press, I assume that means when you press the single button, it does, it takes like 131,000 waveforms and then puts you in history mode. But that's grayed out. So SR mode auto, that's changed, but I can't, I can't get rid of that. I can't get rid of, the, like, I can't change that at all. It's grayed out. So um, like manual mode, auto manual, um, that's for your, uh, record length, um, and your sample mode, um, then I, like, how do you, how do you get rid of that? What the heck's going on? I just want to press the single button once and get the one waveform captured. It's not asking much. Ah, uh, I think I found it. I think I found it. I had, uh, because I don't know, playing around with it previously, in the segmented section, I had fast segmentation turned on, and there's those segment end segment for turn fast segmentation off. Hang on, acquire maximum. Ah, there you go. What, what is acquire maximum? Um, can I set that down to one? Do you have to set that down to one? Or does it seem, oh, no, no, hang on. I'm going to, like, put it up to, like, I don't know, 500 or something. And then I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go run single. Run single. No, see? See? It did it again. It captured a whole bunch. There you go. But it captures, like, a few hundred or whatever. It captures the 500 that I had set there. So segmented and single. If I put that down to one, okay, now... I run single and it does the one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I thought I was going nuts. I thought I was going nuts. So <laughs> by default, that's incredibly powerful. Um, yeah, actually, I, yeah, that's an, like, that's an incredibly powerful feature. But I don't know. Was there anything that was telling me I was in segmented memory mode? Was there anything there at all? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just, oh my goodness. Acquire maximum. And that, right. So that lets you, that just disables that figure. I don't know. Acquire maximum. And then go like that. Yeah, we're still getting our one. Okay. Fast segmentation. No, that'll go to 65,000. That'll do the 65,000. So it's taking 65,000 captures. And then it will actually stop at the end of that because we're a slow acquisition. Okay, I get it now. Right. So you can actually press single shot capture, set it up, press single shot capture, and depending on your waveform update rate, you can, and you can, just, can you set a delay in that as well? Yeah, record length. There you go. That's why they tell you the record length, 20K points, four gig samples. So it's only 
you know, it doesn't tell you the, it'd be nice if it told you up there what the uh, waveform acquisition, but I guess you can tell by just looking at it. Um, so yeah, it will, I'm pretty sure when it gets down to zero, it will stop there. So that's really cool. You can go, like you can, if you're trying to debug something, you can uh, set it up and then you know, so, you know, it might come in the next, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, then you can just press your single shot. You can walk away, come back and, and, and stop. Yes, there we go. We got it. Okay, so now we're in our, yeah, yeah, now I've got a single shot capture. I get it now. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, that's very, that's a very cool feature. Um, but yeah, I just accidentally had that switched on because um, I was playing around with the scope before. But yeah, um, just like I would not, like segmented mode is usually like an on-off thing. Either the segmented mode is on or the segmented mode is off. Uh, but this one, it it affects, it looks like it always effects look yeah right so these are off off or whatever right but if i set that to third you know 50 right like that and i press my single button it's going to take those 50 captures um yeah okay that's kind of cool and then we can turn our history on and then we can yeah there it is 50 we can replay our 50 so yeah that's part of the always that's the thing about this scope as i said this is in, in the history function is an awesome part of this scope it's real every scope should have automatic history so it's always taking when you're running like this when you're free running like that it's always building up waveform history in the background so it uses up all its memory and when you press stop then you can like turn on history mode and you can go back and there's available 8,500, so you can go back through and scroll it. And you don't have to set it up, because often you want to go, you found something just random, some glitch happened or something like that, and you go, whoa, I wonder what caused that. I wonder what, you know, if there was anything changing in my signal leading up to that. And uh, so then, you know, you, because it's a one-shot thing, you don't know, right, this, because it's always got history mode turned on, you can go back and actually examine that. And that's a really cool feature. Um, but yeah, I just, I just come my guts are there and it like, it looks like, um, yeah, uh, without turning segmented mode on, his single mode is tied into history mode somehow. And that's set in there and segments in single, <laughs> but it's in the segmented menu and you wouldn't think to look in the segmented menu because i wasn't in segmented mode and that's my thinking from other scopes is like yeah i'd like to see i got to go turn segmented mode on but in this thing it's all tied into the history function and everything else anyway there you go i, I <laughs> just did not sit like that had me confused for a while but i eventually figured that out so interesting huh anyway that's a little um nice feature and maybe a quirk of the uh, new Roden Schwartz MX04 series scope. I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. It's groovy. You just got to know about it and watch out for it. Catch you next time.